talking. These guys are really communicative. Oh yeah. Gotta come out and investigate what I put in. What is it? Gotta come. So these guys like caracals are from Africa and like caracals they eat lots and lots of rats and mice. They're very good at hunting. Um, they're able to jump straight in the air eight to ten feet so they can actually catch birds that are flying by. Jeez. And they're really really fast. Now What's happening is they're losing their habitat. People are moving into the area where there used to be servals and so they don't have anywhere to live. And they're also hunted because they have those pretty coats that look kind of like cheetah. And so people hunt them and call their uh, coats saying that they're cheetah pelts, which has been a problem. Aww. Yeah. Aww. These guys are also your most popular wild cat. Hey, guys. Hi, oh, boy. Says I couldn't resist. They don't smell icky. So what is this? Do you know what like his name is? What does it do like when you put that in there? Come that's out. mojo. Yeah, it's something that smells interesting. These guys are being a little antisocial right now. They're like you're stretching. Mm -hmm. They move a lot like um, your house cats. You know, all pea lions are related. Uh, they evolved about 35 million years ago. And so they all have a common ancestor, which is why they all look similar and act similar. What is their name again? These are servals. Mm -hmm. Look at the sign up on the fence, baby. That's mojo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then behind him is Sam. We sometimes give them goldfish to play with in their pond. I do not bring out any. Oh, to really? Them. Yeah, they love it. Some people kind of get upset about it. Um, you know, working in a carnivore mm -hmm. facility, we have a pretty yeah different. We have a different outlook on things yeah. than people who work with you know herbivores. You all know the difference between carnivore and herbivore. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We we spend a lot of time working with meat and things like that because that's what these guys have to eat. How can you tell from the name? Um, just the way they look, you get used to how they look, their different uh, nose colorations, the way their faces are shaped, their spots. You just get to know the individuals. You'll see it with the lions and the tigers, it's the same thing. We can tell all the difference. Yeah. Base. I want to swing. I love swing. having it both for Lena and Sufa, but also because it gives people kind of an idea of what we want to see happen. Yeah. Um, what happened is Lena, who's up on the hammock, she was somebody's pet, and they actually did a really good job with her. She's really, really sweet. She got really good care, but unfortunately, she decided to repay the favor by peeing in all of their air conditioning vents to make their house smell just like her. Uh, oh, um, at least she was smart. Them, they had a big, beautiful house in Lake Michigan, Hi. and so they didn't really appreciate that. And so they needed a home for her, and called us, this is many years ago, since like back in 2002, Ooh. and they made a really cool offer, which is that, I'm going to drop it. Says, Thank you. So my super oh. loves scent enrichment. Um, he's Lena's companion because Lena came to live with us and her former owners uh, paid for everything, which is very nice of them. And she needed a friend, and so Masupa came from a zoo that was up in the mountains that shut down. And so he came to live here and got this really awesome cage because he lived, moved in with Lena. He loves scent enrichment. Oh, they paid for the for her. It's about six to ten thousand dollars a cage oh. in our annual budget. Oh, okay. So oh, that was wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Um, now I'm working on getting those numbers up, and tours are actually the number two source of income. Yeah. Uh, but it's you know work in progress. Yeah. Um, but what Masuf is doing right now, he actually has scent glands, and so he's rubbing his scent onto the cardboard and picking the scent up at the same time. Now, if you see, you see how big his ears are? Yes. He can actually hear rats and mice underground, and so if Storval gets hungry, it can actually find a rat tunnel and just sit, sit and wait for something yummy to come out. Nice. Yeah, they're very, very cool. Lena, as you can see, cannot be bothered. She's quite the lady. How old is she? Um, she is about 11 years old. 